Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And this Lubuntu screencast is the second screencast showing off an open SSH server and what you can do with it. So if you missed the first one, just go to lubuntu.net and here you can see the remote networking with open SSH. Here we, you will get the basics of how to use open SSH and how to create an open SSH server. So our second part is all about how we can not only bring our desktop applications remotely to our running desktop but also the whole desktop. This works also with SSH but um, the most commonly used system for this or the most known or popular system for this is VNC or FreeNX but even SSH allows you to do this with a little trick of an application called XNest. So the first thing that we will do is just SSH into our machine. So let's just do this. And we need to make sure that we have installed XNest. So we type in sudo apt-get install XNest type in our password here on our um, server machine so where the OpenSSH server is running of course as you can see XNAS is already installed the next thing that we need to do is a little configuration trick uh, in GDM that allows us to log in um, and use the XNAS server basically so what we will do is just um, add it of course with sudo writes the uh, configuration file etc gdm custom conf and basically here we have to add the security dis uh, disallow tcp um, equals false and xdmcp enabled true so after these configuration tricks we need to restart the gdm basically on our host machine and then we can uh, on our server system and then we can simply open up the xnest server therefore we need to log out here and of course we need x privileges so we add a big x here which allows us to execute x applications log in back to our OpenSSH server and then we enter the command xnest. We use xnest here to open up a server on port 1 basically, so an x server on port 1. AC, which allows us to start other applications on our uh, xnest x server. Then the geometry, this is important f and should not be uh, much bigger than your geometry on your host machine, on your machine that you are connecting to uh, your server and then of course i will stick to the native resolution of my epc that's i think 800 by 480 and then we want to have once and query localhost so this will allow us to open up an xnest server and as you can see here we have the xnest server so voila it's work it's working we have an x working from our OpenSSH server now on our uh, host machine. And the next thing that we want to do is to open up, of course, a desktop. So I've installed a pretty um, fast desktop um, system based upon Fluxbox. So one important thing that I need to do, because right now there's already an X server running on my EPC uh, on port zero, and uh, that's running um, also with with another graphical user interface uh, i need to s to somehow s uh, talk or send um, or say to the application that i want to start on the xnest server that it has to start on this xnest server so what i will do is just uh, give him a variable so the display equals zero uh, uh, port zero in this case and then the application name that I want to start on this XNest server or 
the desktop name. In this case, I want to start Fluxbox here. I'm entering start Fluxbox here, and this will then give you some debugging message, but will then start up the Fluxbox desktop here on my XNest server. This is everything. <laughs> As you can see, now with the right click, I can go to the menu, can open up, for example, that beef. And it's a little bit slower, as you can see here, than uh, normally running an uh, application via the X uh, feature of uh, SSH. Double clicking here will open up the song, and you might hear it in the background right now. It's playing back. And yeah, this is pretty much everything for this screencast. I can minimize. As you can see, it's a little bit slow. So what you might want to do in your local area network is also set the compression byte on uh, when SSHing into your server. So I will demonstrate this to you as well. Let me quit this. Let me log out here. Let me go to our SSH command and compress the whole connection and let me start this again and you will see that the whole process is now faster and I can work a lot faster with my system Let me play something else back. You see that the elements of the system are quicker when it comes to show them. Yeah, and this is basically everything for this screencast. I showed you how to get your X desktop running via an OpenSSH connection onto your host system over the network. And this everything is with, with uh, OpenSSH. This is cool, isn't it? So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this and until the next time.